today we are going to be doing our top five movies of the year. We saw over 20 movies this year. This I thought this was a really good year for movies. Last year, I feel like it was kind of a down year. There were some exceptions, some good movies. But making this top five list was not easy. I had a lot of movies off my list that are still really good movies. It just didn't make it on the list. Uh, do you want to start out with honorable mentions first? Yeah, I mean, I have in my, in my notes here that I saw 24, or 25 different movies this year. And I was in the theaters 30 times, which is that's a lot of times in the theater. Yeah. Especially after 2020. So... Um, there's a lot of movies to choose from, and there's honestly so many to where we could do lists of, like, most... There's difference between best and most fun in the theater. I mean, sometimes that goes hand-in-hand, hand, um, but there's a lot of movies that aren't going to be mentioned today that I think could either be mentioned in both both lists, uh, potentially. Yeah, for our mentions for me, for top five best movies of the year, these movies didn't quite make my list. Now, I, I'd like to say this right away, uh, Sound of Freedom was one that if we were doing most important movies, this would obviously be number one without a doubt. Like, there's no question. Um, but it's definitely an honorable mention for me this uh, for 2023, along with Godzilla Minus One and Evil Dead Rise. All three of those movies, obviously very different movies. Uh, yeah. But but each one was done really, really well. Really good movie-going experiences for different reasons. Um, but those three movies didn't quite make my list, but they were top-notch of 2023 without a doubt. Yeah, some honorable mentions for me was uh, Talk to Me. That was an excellent horror movie, very unique. Uh, the Mario Bros. was a movie that I couldn't believe didn't make it on this list, but like I said, there were so many good movies. And then Barbie was one where it had some amazing scenes that I just absolutely loved. But why don't we just get on to number five? But number five, clocking at number five on my top five list of 2023 for movies is actually Barbie. Uh, I was... I was going back and forth with a couple of my honorable mentions in this one, um, but the reason why I ended up going with Barbie for this one is because going to the movie, I thought I was going to absolutely hate this movie. I didn't want to see it, and I brought like York peppermint patties ready to just house candy the entire time watching this movie. And it started out, trust me, I was like, yeah, "This is going to be brutal," but I walked out of the theater having a great time with this thing. We had a battle sequence. Uh, the comedy was spot on for the most part. Yeah, there was some stuff that bothered me at times. But I thought it was a good balance of mixing different opinions, different characters, and uh, just was an all-around really fun time at the theater. I mean, I saw it twice, so I, I had to put that at number five. It was a really fun time, and Ryan Gosling did a great job. <laughs> Margot Robbie did a good job, but uh, Ken definitely stole the show on that one, and that's why it's number five on my list. Barbie was a good movie, uh, but number five for me is Sound of Freedom. Going from like the most polar opposite like joke movie to serious movie, but no, this movie was not only really important just as a movie, but uh, it was just excellent acting, uh, just the production. I felt the the just all the character decisions and just everything about this movie was just really well done. And I'm really glad this movie was successful, and I'm really glad it exposed all the critics out there. And a lot of people that are clueless in this world. No, this movie was excellent. Uh, and it was a very impactful movie. One of the most impactful movies I've ever seen in the theater. And this is definitely number five on my list. We go to number four. Yeah, number four on my list uh, is Talk to Me. This is also another movie that I had low expectations. Expectations. I thought the trailer was very just, like, just very just basic. Something that I feel like I've seen a million times. I'm like, this is just too basic of a storyline. How this is going to be good. And walking out, it was very well filmed, well acted, really scary from the beginning to the end. Uh, there were certain scenes that made me jump, and it just like it was just really it was a really cool story that actually I had not seen before, and it definitely left me wanting more at the end. So I really hope there is a sequel to this. Um, but Talk to Me is a really good movie, one of the probably the best. I mean, according to, to my list right now, is it, it was the best horror film of the yeah. year. Um, so I think that's another reason why I clocked in number four on my list. But Talk to Me is definitely one that uh, caught me off guard and was a really good time at the theater. Yeah, definitely best horror movie. And unfortunately, it didn't make it on my list, but definitely was a good movie. My, number four for me is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. I believe that's the name <laughs> of the movie. Uh, the Mission Impossible movies, I have not been familiar with them from the start. We The first one I saw was Fallout uh, three, four years ago. And it made it on the top five list. This one just continues it. I mean, these Mission Impossible movies are just really fun. Tom Cruise goes all out in them with these stunts. Just makes the movie so unbelievable. 
All the characters are great. The action is amazing. Everything about these movies is so well done. And these movies keep ending up on my top five lists. And I just had a really fun time with this movie. Love all the characters that came back. Love all the new characters you get, like Peggy Carter. And uh, it's just a really fun time. Love so much about it and can't wait for part two. Let me go to number three. Number three on my top five best films of 2023 is the Super Mario Bros. movie. This movie was, uh, obviously I'm a huge fan of like Mario Kart and played that my entire childhood growing up and even play it now. Um, obviously the, the Wii and also the Nintendo Switch. This is one that I was really excited to go see. I'm a huge fan of Chris Pratt. So when I heard he was voicing Mario, I was a little confused at first, but I'm like, he'll pull it off and he did a really good job with it. And it was just a really, really good, uh, like just family friendly movie, which you don't see very often in, in today's age. Um, so it was really refreshing to go see a, just a animated movie, good story. I, there was a lot of references to games and I, not, I didn't even catch on to all of them, but it was just really cool to see certain characters. And I would have loved to have seen my favorite character on screen, but I was very happy with that end credit scene. Um, so Super Mario Bros. was a really fun movie. Some really funny scenes. Uh, it was really cool to see Mario, Luigi, P Princess Peach. And, and you saw the box office that families Maybe noticed this and, and realized that, hey, this is a good movie we can take our kids to and just have a fun time at the movies. So yeah, that, that's why it's number three on my list because it was, yeah, just a fun, family friendly movie, which is very rare in 2023. Yeah, so you know, Mario Bros., another great movie. It didn't make it on my list. Uh, number three for me is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This was the third Guardians of the Galaxy. I liked the first one a lot. I loved the second one, and this one was really good. I still think the second one is the best, but that's not taking anything away from this movie. It has one of the best action fight scenes in any Marvel movie, maybe. Uh, you've got all these characters that you love. Love every single character in this group. You get returning characters. You do get Gamora that is a new Gamora, so that is kind of a different factor there. But they introduced new characters like Warlock, and uh, he's great. I, I really did like this movie a lot. It kind of breaks you at some point. I mean, you're an animal. If you're an animal lover, this movie really does break you down. This movie's brutal to watch, but it's so impactful, and it is really emotional, and you really don't know who's going to make it out of this movie, which I think was a great aspect. I didn't know who's going to die. Great suspense, and was one of the best Marvel movies since Endgame. And this is number three on the list. So why don't we go to number two? So number two for me is actually the same. Because your number three is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Um, in the current state of the MCU, this is like one of the last things that we even have going for us right now. At least. Last stand. Really refreshing to see this movie. This is the entire team. I'm a huge fan of every single one of them. And when you're able to be attached to every character like that, it makes every scene enjoyable. But yeah, there's a lot of emotional stuff in this movie with Rocket. He really carries the movie. Uh, but the comedy is always spot on with the Guardians, and there was a really funny scene when they're on this different planet that was really getting into a car, and there's just a lot of amazing things in it, and it definitely, and like you said, this, the emotional aspect to it really did drive the, the plot of the movie, and there's a really cool scene at the end that if you ride the ride uh, in, the, the, uh, in Epcot, in Disney World in Orlando, you're even more attached to it when you imagine, like, yeah. when you're walking on the ride, you see them kind of walk into this tunnel, it's just kind of a... A lot, of, a lot of cool references that maybe not everyone would have uh, known if you didn't go to the park, theme parks. But it was a really fun, uh, fun time in the movies. Really great movie. And it definitely was. Uh, it definitely deserves the right to sit at number two on my top five list of 2023. Yeah, so... <laughs> All right, so the, the studio is falling apart here. Number two for me is Godzilla Minus One. Now, you know if you've watched this channel, I've been doing so many videos about Godzilla. I thought it was I thought it was gonna be maybe okay certain scenes <clears throat> but this movie absolutely blew me away this was so close to number one that I can't even tell you how many times I went back and forth between one and two and this barely gets number two just because of how phenomenal number one is but this Godzilla is probably the best Godzilla I've ever seen has probably the best Godzilla scenes I've ever seen and if it wasn't if it was for like one battle at the end this would have probably been number one, but the sound effects, the music, the CGI, the characters, the storyline, I mean, everything about this movie is a positive, and I went back to see it twice, it just gets better and better, the scenes of this movie are just phenomenal, the atomic breath from Godzilla is probably the best one I've ever seen, 
And I really hope they do a sequel to this. Obviously, I love the MonsterVerse. I love that Godzilla. But this Godzilla Minus One movie was totally unbelievable. It blew me away and barely doesn't get the number one spot. And it's going to be num my number two on my list. So number one. Number one. The number one movie of 2023, in my opinion, is without a doubt. And from this moment that I saw this movie, I put it number one on my list. And it's not moved the rest of the years. I knew it was going to be there. And that is John Wick 4. That movie was... I mean, first of all, we, you, you know on this channel that we're huge fans of John Wick from 1, 2, and 3. And going to this movie, I'm like, there's just no way they can be better than the third one. They keep getting better and better. Like, how can you actually increase the ante in this? And without a doubt, this movie just... It blew me away like no other. I think I saw it three or four times. The From the soundtrack to the action to the John Wick, just respect to the character. And it's it's also the respect to the fans. I mean, there's stuff that goes on in this movie that I, I couldn't believe. I, was, I thought I was actually asleep or having a dream when I saw this movie because there's a, there's a point where, like, the soundtrack switches to a song that goes back to the first movie. And one of our friends looked at me during the, the third time we saw it, and he, he knew exactly what the song was. And it just... It, it just blows you away. I mean, I, we were in the, the first time we saw it, we were in the front row in this theater. And I, I thought I was on the edge of my seat watching like a sports game. There was like a car chase, a second car chase, a building scene with like a game, video game aspect, atmosphere. And I just, there's there's too much to say from the villains. We got Chidi, Killa, uh, the, the, marquee. the Marquee. I mean, it's just, there's just too many things to love about this movie that it just, I was honestly on the edge of tears at times. Not from, like, I'm from, not really from sadness, but just from pure happiness of being in the theater, and just it's absolute respect to the. It was, it was probably the best films I've seen in my life. It was one of the most respectful to the fans, and just it's it's exactly what movies are all about. It's what movies are all about, and it's what it's about. this is one of the best movies I've seen in my life. And I, if you've not seen it, you got to check it out. So John Wick Chapter Four is without a doubt the best film of 2023 and probably of my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an understatement all. Yeah. Seriously. My number one is John Wick Chapter 4. Like I said, God's All Minus One was a, such an excellent movie. But I kept going back and forth. And I watched John Wick 4 again. And I just decided it's number one. I watched the John Wick versus Killa fight scene again. And this movie is just phenomenal. From the start to the finish, it's just awesome. It, it's just pure action and adrenaline and just epicness. From the beginning to end, they respect the John Wick character. From the very first moment this movie starts, you are locked in like, holy crap. And when the credits roll, you're just ready to watch it again. I mean, I honestly, there's not many movies that when it starts to finishes, like I'm just locked in and I just feel that same epicness from the beginning to end. When the credits roll, I was like, holy crap, that was just an amazing movie. And... There's fight scene after fight scene, amazing characters. There's new characters that still respect the John Wick character. And it just expands on the universe of the John Wick character. People respect him and it just expands more into it. It leaves stuff open for the future. You get amazing characters like Kane. Yeah. You get the Marquis. You get Tracker. You get Kill Up. I mean... You, know, you get uh, what's it, Chidi with the freaking epic arrow block. I mean, running <laughs> one shot. Yeah, the epic like starts to these fights. The stair the, sliding, the stair sliding, the set pieces, the epic scenery, and just you have really good action scenes, plenty of it. But then you have the great slow scenes where you care, you have character development, you expand the universe. Kochi, and you have really good yeah, Kochi. But you get really good motivation behind these characters. You know why they're doing what they're doing. They're were put in tough places to make tough decisions and john wick 4 was phenomenal excellent movie i saw it four times three four times in theaters bought the movie on youtube so that yeah, says I'll everything you need to know. says everything you need to know john wick 4 was number one yeah i mean a movie like that when you know like the end credit scene just the end credit scene is more epic than probably most movies you've seen this year yeah that, that that says a lot i mean you're like at that point you're like man this is the best movie ever and then <laughs> and they show one more scene and there's like this freaking bell shirt. Right bell. back in it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Our top five best movies of 2023. Be sure to put your your top five movies of 2023. Yeah. I need to mention. I did watch Oppenheimer. It did not make my list. It is an honorable mention. It was a good movie, but it was good. It did not crack the top five. Yeah. I'd mention that. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you guys on the on the next video. Bye, guys.